I never really thought that I'd be making a Marvel video on this channel, as like many, I struggle big time with Marvel fatigue, and I haven't really liked many of their recent releases since about Phase 3. The one with the Spider-Man was, was pretty fun though, that's pretty sick. I've definitely tapped out of the Marvel train now, so full transparency here being that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is the only Marvel property I've seen in the last year, uh, other than Wakanda Forever, which I, I really didn't enjoy. But I don't like talking about stuff I don't like, that's why I'm here to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and why it has the perfect ending for this trilogy. Whilst you're here, please do consider subscribing, I love making these videos, and I want to just keep making more and more of them, and consider liking the video, because that helps out the algorithm, and it means that more people can find me and hear my voice, which probably isn't a good thing, but... I mean, it's a good thing for me, but not so much for everyone else involved. Back to Guardians. Broadly speaking, the movie is really funny, and it's really moving. I think that despite some notable scenes, Chris Pratt's Star-Lord is pretty one note. I would have much preferred to have seen him spend more time with Gamora, allowing them to probably discover that perhaps these two aren't meant for each other. That plot felt a little undercooked for my liking. I also would have preferred to have seen more of present day Rocket. His plotline was the strongest and most interesting part of the film, with tear-jerking flashbacks and genuinely confronting scenes. but. We didn't get to see a lot of present day Rocket, and I love that bloody guy. I understand that's kind of the point, but I know, I, I guess the team dynamic just felt a little flat without him. I love that furry dude. The film is obviously putting out important messaging with regards to experimenting and the mistreatment of animals. But on a subtextual level, it's a film about letting go of your past, and as a recent episode of Ted Lasso said, don't let your yesterdays ruin your today. It's about living in the present and leaving your ghost behind. This rings true for pretty much all the Guardians here, even if some of them aren't the centre of attention in this instalment. As I mentioned before, Rocket's backstory is expanded upon as his old enemy returns. As the kill switch is discharged within him, we quite literally see him breaking free from his past. We see Star-Lord moving on from his past relationship and leaving the ghosts of his family behind, focusing on the present time he has left with his grandfather. Mantis, after years of working for Ego, before working for the Guardians, is finally going on her own journey to find what she wants, and Drax finds what it means to be a dad again, after losing his kids prior to the first film. All of these characters, plagued by pain in their past, are finally present, focusing on themselves. And that is why Guardian 3's dance party ending is the best in the business. It's one thing to have a feel-good boogie at the end of the film, but another to make it genuinely impactful and a reflection of the characters' journeys. The dance party ending is so good that it provides meaning to the trilogy's soundtracks in a way that we didn't even know we needed. With 70s to 80s music being nostalgia bait for a lot of modern media, I don't think that the Guardian soundtrack have ever felt like that. Director James Gunn places banger after banger in these movies. Lakeshore Drive I now hold very dear to my heart as a result. Volume 3 provides another nostalgia-filled banger of a soundtrack with a surprising ending. The movie's final song is Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine. Run fast for your mother, run fast for your father. But wait, that's not a song from the 80s, that's a 2000s banger. Yes, Aiden. That's the point. As I mentioned, the Guardians are finally present, taking action in their own lives and living in the moment. The choice to use dog days here is a reflection of that, reminding us to be present and not to live in the past. It's the climax of a trilogy centered around characters who are plagued by their past, finally looking forward. And the song is a perfect reflection of that. The dog days are over, baby. So yeah, that's why I think the ending of Guardians 3 is perfect. It's an emotional reminder to be present, and I honestly didn't expect to be as moved by it as I was. So that was a little bit of a shorter video there, guys. I hope you very much enjoyed it and got something out of it. I enjoyed doing it and talking about it. Guardians 3, what a blast. Go check it out and form some opinions and, and let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think of the ending. Maybe you got something different from that last song than I did, but hey. The dog days are over, that's that's for sure. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>